Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, March 17th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some circles on the grid today. And we have to remember that today is St. Patrick's Day. That's definitely something to keep in mind. Okay, one across. Something to click. Hmm. I wonder if that could be an idea. Does that make sense? Let's see if we can build off of that. Being pulled along. Hmm. I want it to be about being leashed, maybe? Being pulled along. Could it be towed? Like with a tow truck? Is this an O? Astronomical news. I guess that could be a Nova, maybe. A supernova would be news. Hmm. What's this down here? Short-legged herding dog. I don't know dog breeds very well. Totally misses or totally surveys. Totally misses. Is this about missing a person? Hmm. I'm not sure. Surveys. That's interesting. Oh, we have two A's here. That doesn't look good. Uncouth, untruth. I want this to be a naked lie. Yeah. So maybe it's not an idea. Let's see if this is naked lie here. Does this end in a K? Serious schlep? Could that be a trek? Like a Star Trek? Monstrous sword. That has to be an ogre, right? Can we make sense of these downs now? Oh, it was about being towed. It's gonna be in tow, though. Yeah, that's better. I don't know if towed would be the right part of speech there. Okay, so maybe this is gonna be a corgi for our herding dog. So maybe this is gonna be an icon. There we go. It's clicking in the literal sense. Totally misses. Is it gonna be overlooks? Yeah, it's not about missing a person. It's about not seeing something. Okay, overlooks. And then we hit our first theme answer here. Let's see what this is. Trick. And it starts with wild. Hmm. I'm not sure what kind of trick they're talking about here. And it looks like we're pointing to a revealer. Let's not look at that quite yet. Having mucho dinero. If you have mucho dinero, you're rich. And in Spanish, that would be rica, right? Global manufacturer of chemical products. Ooh, this is a company? O-L-I. That doesn't look familiar to me. Shoot. That was our only hope of building out of here. Trick. Hmm. I wonder if we can start in this section here. Watering hole in many westerns. Um, is that going to be a figurative watering hole? Could it be a saloon? Yeah, that's great. So this is Olin? Hmm, like Ken and Lena Olin? I've never seen this as a company name before. Hmm, let's hope that's right. Nail polish brand within I'm not really a waitress shade. I think that's OPI. Wise cracks. Hmm, could it be quips? Those are kind of wise cracks, right? Wild. Hmm, I wonder if it's like a trick on a skateboard. I still don't know. Term of address for many a respected elder. Hmm. That's interesting. AU. I'm not sure what this is going to be. It's not going to be like auntie, right? I guess maybe it could be. Pigeons on a platter. Hmm. Let's definitely skip this one. What do we have here? Leave with no strings attached? And this is wordplay. Hmm. So I guess this is not about breaking up in a relationship or something? 
Hmm. Leave with no strings attached. Is it about a musical instrument somehow? Hmm. I don't know. QB stat abbreviated? Hmm. Is it going to be interceptions? I guess it could be touchdowns. Hmm. I'm not sure. Bitter feeling. Hmm. I don't know about this one either. Could it be blue? Could you be sad? That seems pretty good. Let's see if that's right. Words repeated while scrolling through a Netflix list, perhaps. <laughs> Is this gonna be seen it? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, okay, so this is not auntie. What in the world is this? A respected elder. Hmm, I don't know. Let's take a look at our first theme answer here. Secure. Hmm, boy, these are very ambiguous clues. I'm almost wondering if these circled letters might be scrambled as well. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get the end of this one, maybe, if we can fill in this corner. Give permission to... Hmm. It starts with E-N. I'm not sure. Some frozen drinks? Could that be Icy's? Blank to the bottom. That looks like it should be race to the bottom. And then maybe this is going to be enable? I guess that could be. Voyager 1 for 1. Voyager 1 was a probe. A space probe. Cry to end a pin. <laughs> is that going to be uncle? Yeah, that's great. Makes as cakes. That has to be bakes, right? So what do we have here? Pub trivia. Yeah, that's okay. Strand in a cell. RNA. Yeah, I'm glad we had that R in there. All right, so we got the end of this. Hopefully that'll be helpful. Secure. It seems like it should be like a rock, right? Um, but maybe something funky is going on with like a... Hmm. This is so weird. There's definitely something strange going on. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to get any more help. Maybe we can build in through here. Let's give that a shot. And if that doesn't work out, let's cry uncle and work towards our revealer here. What Graham Greene called a failure of imagination. Ooh, um, I feel like I've heard this quote before. Is it hate? Could that be right? loot. Ooh, that could be a big lumbering ape, maybe. What's this down here? Blank of Sunset Bravo series. I don't think I've heard of this one. Requested pickup time on many online orders. That's definitely ASAP. Okay. Company whose name comes from a term in the game of Go. Is that Atari? Is that the third day in a row that Atari's shown up? That's so funny. Farm outbuilding. Um, it's not a silo. Is it a sty? Is that a building? Isn't a sty kind of just a pen? Let's see if it's a sty. Voting block. Hmm, this is some kind of constituency? I don't know if this Y looks right. Let's take that out. Yeah. Hmm. Boy, we didn't really have any luck building up through here, did we? Trick. Wild something. Yeah, let's take a stab at getting this revealer. Maybe once we have that knowledge, these will start to make a lot more sense. Unflinching. That could be stoic. Disco dancing enthusiast on The Simpsons. Yeah, that's disco stew. Select. Could that be tap? We had that on a grid a few days ago too. Like tapping for a political position. Yeah. So this is ups. 
boom times. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's finally take a look at this grid spanning revealer here. What to do before the answers to the starred clues will make sense. <laughs> okay, maybe this was a necessary element of us understanding this theme. Um, boy, it's kind of hard to know what this is going to be. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get this on crosses. Um, let's see if we can build some more through here. Incense in a sense. I guess that could be an odor, maybe. Yeah. Does that O help? Blank attack. Card game variant. Is that a variant of Uno? Yeah. Oh, is this going to be Rico, not Rika? Yeah, did I have the wrong gender there? So this is going to be take out something. Take out the, maybe? Is it take out the trash? Oh my god, are these going to be all words for trash? This could be dross, right? That's a synonym for trash. Um, what could this be? A word for trash that starts with L-I. Um, could it be litter? Ooh. So maybe you take out litter and then it's U-O-C-K. That can't be right. Secure. That should be lock. Okay, so this is not blue. It's something else. And then this is a little rock. Oh, okay. So we have real things. And then you take out a synonym for trash. And you're left with what the clue is pointing to. A lock. Okay, so I definitely think this is going to be take out the trash. That's great. We thought this was going to be dross, right? And then trick is going to be while. I've heard the phrase... She used her wiles, right? So I guess it does kind of make sense, while. And then that leaves us with wild roses as our original phrase. Ooh, that one was tricky to see. That was the first one we hit too. Yeah, I don't know if we had a prayer of getting that one without this knowledge from the revealer. Okay, so does that help here at all? Leave with no strings attached. Yeah, that could be about untying something, right? No strings would be attached in that case. That's great. So is this auntie maybe? Maybe it is after all, after all this time. Um, okay, so maybe this is attempts. Yeah, and then this is going to be bile. Ooh, I guess we got lucky that that E was right. All right, can we clean up the center section? Maybe it is a sty. Maybe it's nays. Oh my God. It's not about a voting constituency. It's about a block of votes in the Senate. Oh my goodness, that was super hard to see. Okay, so this is gonna be Shahs of Sunset. Ooh, man, I never would have guessed that. Ooh, all right, we finally got that cleared up. Um, let's do this section over here. Many a prof has one, an informal prof. That'll probably be PhD. Application. I think that should be use. How's it going? An equivalent phrase. Sup seems pretty good. Didn't wax say. Maybe we're talking about the moon here. Could that be waned? It got smaller instead of bigger. Uncommon bills. You don't see $2 bills very often. Some hairstyles in punk fashion. Ooh, what is this going to be? It's not Mohawks. R.A. Hmm, that doesn't look familiar to me. Popular site for holiday gift orders. Is this being tricky? Is this not a website? Oh my god. Um, is this going to be Santa's lap? <laughs> what a great clue. That is so funny. I love that one. Senate Majority Leader from 1996 to 2001. I think that was Trent Lott, wasn't it? Is this going to be Rat's Tail? Rat Tails? Oh my god. Yeah, that was popular in the 90s. I remember that craze. All right, let's see what this is. Spec. Okay, that has to be Iota, right? 
Um, and you don't really know what the original phrase is going to be. It doesn't really have anything to do with the clue. Um, and we only have one letter of the trash synonym. Yeah, let's see if we can get some more crossing help here. Expires. Hmm. I guess this could be about food expiring. Hmm, I'm not sure. Keynote EG. Is this going to be orate? Are they using keynote as a verb? That would be very tricky. Blank roaring. Ooh. Roaring? I'm not sure about this one. Maybe we can get the end of the trash synonym here. Words that may scare off a buyer. That could definitely be as is. Yeah, taking your chances with that. Afflictions could be ills. Get on board. Hmm. Is this about getting on a ship? Could you say laid as a verb? Kind of like laden? Um, I wonder, is this a D? Let's see what a jalapeno has that a habanero lacks. <laughs> I think they're talking literally here. The word jalapeno has a tilde over the end and habanero does not. That's very clever. One of England's so-called home counties. I know there's a county called Essex. Let's see if that's right. It looks like it was laid after all. That's a very tricky vocab word. Um, and then we have specs here. Optometrists offering casually. Yeah, spectacles. Okay, so we got T-E. That should be very helpful. Yeah, is it gonna be waste? And then that gives us Iowa State here. Very nice. Car part that moves rhythmically. Rhythmically, is that gonna be a wiper? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Is it rip roaring? Oh yeah, like a rip roaring good time. Okay. The hair of one's chinny chin chin maybe? Um, I don't know, is it gonna be a goatee? Not by the hair of my goatee, I guess. Blank manual. It's not going to be a user's manual, is it? Hmm. Expires. Maybe it's going to be lapses. There we go. Like you could let a membership lapse. Yeah. Took off. Hmm. Took off. It has to be past tense. What is that going to be? I'm not sure. I wonder if this is going to be scraps here. It's looking like it, right? S-C-R-A, yeah. So what is the clue? Riot. Hmm. A riot could be like a really good time. Um. I don't know. Took off. Oh, that's going to be ran. Okay, that wasn't that complicated. Boat that's good in shallow water. I think there's a boat called a scow. Like a garbage scow, appropriately for this puzzle here. Okay, so this is going to be an owner's manual. There we go. Wait, an equivalent phrase. That could be don't go. Okay, we've got a little bit of help here. Blank O's. Is this going to be Oreo O's? Is that like a cereal? Um... Hmm, is this gonna be shoot craps? Like gambling? And then a riot could be a hoot. It is a good time. Yeah, maybe you're having a hoot shooting craps. <laughs> That's great, okay. Like men's double-breasted suits, e.g. Um, is that gonna be retro? Are they not in fashion? Okay, certain pan-Africanist informally. Is that gonna be Rasta? Air up there. Could that be the ether? It's in the ether. Flip flop. Hmm. Is this about the footwear flip flop? It almost looks like it is, right? Could you call that a T something? I'm not sure. What is this across? Destination of the first marathon, 490 BC. Yeah, that was Athens. Oh, you could call it a thong. Yeah, that's another word for a flip flop. Okay, so this should be an N, 10, 
number of a certain rear bowling pin. Okay, I think that must be right. And then we have ARG, neighbor of Bolivia abbreviated. Oh, I guess that's going to be Argentina. Excellent. Well, let's throw that G in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Thursday puzzle in 23 minutes. That is a very respectable time for us. I guess in addition to being St. Patrick's Day, today is also Garbage Day because we have to take out the trash to make sense of our theme answers. Yeah, these were all really cool. Um, I don't think we had a prayer of catching on to how this theme was working until we hit the revealer. Yeah, that was very tricky to see. We have Wild Roses losing Dross to become Wile. Little Rock tossing Litter to become Lock. Iowa State tossing waste to become Iota, and shoot craps binning scraps to become a hoot. Yeah, these were all really fun. And we had this fun revealer, take out the trash. Yeah, that was a very tight theme. As far as the rest of the fill goes, I think my favorite stuff was all kind of concentrated in this lower corner here. I think Rat Tails is super funny. It's a fun blast from the past. And then this really great clue for Santa's lap popular site for holiday gift orders. That's so funny. And also this very tricky clue for Tilda. What a jalapeno has that a habanero lacks. I like that one too. All right, well, thank you for helping me take out the trash on this tricky Thursday theme. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.